So hey guys, David here again, and interesting question here today. The question is, let's say you do psychotherapy, you go to psychotherapy, or you're in there for maybe a long time, and you have like, you're wondering, what's the point of all this? What is the end point of this psychotherapy, any kind of maybe even spiritual practice you're working on? What does it kind of look like? And now I'm not talking about reaching spiritual enlightenment here. I'm making it a bit, a bit more um, every day, something that we can relate to, I think. But it's a good question because it involves bringing up a lot of old stuff and dealing through it and processing negative emotions and feelings. So it's kind of like useful, I think, to just have some kind of a conceptualization of where am I going with this? <laughs> and it's not simply, well, I guess it is simply to feel better, you know, but there's another way to think about it. Really what we're doing in, in psychotherapy or as I said, any of the spiritual practices, maybe even self-help books you're working through, what we're trying to do is remove conditioning. So conditioning are ways of being that we've slid into or we've adapted to that made it possible for us to live through difficult life experiences, maybe even traumatic life experiences. Or your conditioning can be old belief systems that you picked up along the way. Maybe somebody told you things that weren't true about yourself and now you're living from those truths and, you know, truths, um, falsehoods, really. And they're no longer serving you, but yet you're still attached to them. So you're trying to drop them and get rid of them. Now that's the process involved. That's what we're trying, that's what we're actually doing in there. But where do you end up? Well, I think a way to think about that is you end up living from a place of authenticity or you end up living from your authentic personality. What you're looking for is the personality you were born with before all the conditioning came along. You know, you were born with a personality. That's who you are. And it's who you'll always drawn, be drawn to, to be. You'll, you'll always feel like there's a part of you that's not been completely expressive if you're not living from your genuine personality. So some of the process is to develop self-awareness about what my personality might have been. And it could be thinking about what you were like as a child before maybe you went through a lot of difficult life situations. But when you do arrive at that place, and it takes a long time, it's some people say it's a lifetime's work, but it's not to have it as a big goal. It's just each time you remove something in your life that's unhelpful, that doesn't serve you anymore, that in itself is its own reward. And you do see the rewards of that immediately when you can finally let it go. So I guess this is a motivational video, really. It's about why am I doing this? It's authenticity. It's emotional freedom and it's the real you. It's the you you were born to be. So you get to look at who you're not for a while before you can finally see who you really are. So I hope that answers that question. It's a way to think about it at least. And uh, I think I'll leave it there for now. But if you do have any questions, you can contact me at my website, drdavidmaloney.com. And I also do um, online sessions there as well if you're looking for someone to talk to. So take care of yourself and I'll see you next time.